Welcome to my channel, Vibrant Soul Crafts, where we express our creative imagination. Hello you guys, I am Vibrant Expressions and welcome back to my channel, Vibrant Soul Crafts. I hope everyone is having such a vibrant day today. Happy Friday. So, I am showing you <laughs> what this tutorial is going to be based on. Bargain Beatbox October Night in the Woods edition. So this is the second tutorial. The first tutorial I did was the earrings. Now we have the bracelet and coming up after this tutorial will be the necklace. So this is a beautiful, fabulous and stunning bangle bracelet. Okay, and the structure is memory wire. And we have all these beautiful bead elements from the bargain bead box with additional elements that's not included in the bead box. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you do, remember, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. All right, so before I get into the tutorial, I'm gonna give a quick breakdown of the beads that we'll be using, the elements in the bags. So we are using from bag number one, which are the three millimeter faceted Hessenite garnets, which I did use quite a bit, all right? The top bead, oh, let me see if I can focus, <laughs> if the camera will focus, the top, two beads okay then we have the 10 millimeter uh, red tiger eye right here bag number five tiger eye then we have the four millimeter garnet round beads which are the brown beads right above the tiger eye or dark reddish okay bag number six oh no that was bag number six bag number eight are the magnetic class okay bag number 12 are the 10 piece Faceted Crystal Barrel Beads Ivory Luster. Okay, right here in the middle. Bag 14, Crystal Faceted Twist Beads Light Topaz uh, Luster. This beautiful bead right here. Then we have the 8mm Faceted Carnelian Round Beads. The 8mm are here oh. <laughs> and they are very slippery too <laughs> then we have from bag number 20 which are the six millimeter english cut carnelian round beads right here so those are the beads and the bags uh that we are using in this tutorial so now I am going to move on to the wiring or the structure of the bracelet. This is a bangle bracelet. So now the size of this wire is a cycle and one third. So one and one third cycle. Bracelet size memory wire. All right, so um, I'll move on to the strands now. So this is the strand pattern that I'm using the same exact pattern that will 
be used on this bracelet. Okay, so now I'll go over the elements that I will be using that is not included in this bead box really quickly, which are the rhinestone spacer bead, these three millimeter uh, gold spacer beads, and a couple of jump rings that I don't have right now, but four millimeter jump rings is what we'll be using also to connect the clasp. So we'll get started into this tutorial. Okay, before we get into the tutorial, I quickly want to give you a close-up of the beads that are used on each bead strand. Okay, so this is the close-up and every bead that's on each bead strand on this side is the same exact on the other side. Okay, and in a few places you'll see um, 11 old seed beads that I meant to take off. I had them on all of them um, on the original bracelet, okay? And I meant to take them off, but they're so tiny and trying to keep uh, mind of timing, I just left a couple on, all right? But they are not necessary to this um, tutorial, okay? But <laughs> the rest of the beads are, all right? Just wanted to give you a close up so you know which beads which actual beads I used. All right, guys, so I went on ahead and disassembled one bead strand just so that I can show you how I built my bead strand. Okay, and I'm going to leave the rest as is. And again, if you decide to make uh, do this tutorial, make this project, you can uh, see how I built the bead strand and then just go on ahead and create the rest of the patterns using this beading technique. So what I'm using is 22 gauge wire and I needed to use a wire that was thin enough to fit inside of the three millimeter garnet bead. Okay, so I'm using regular wire and I am going to grab my round nose plier. And by the way, the tools I'll be using really quickly are round nose plier, wire cutter, also flat, I have two flat pliers to handle my jump rings. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this round nose plier to create an eye needle using with this pen. Okay, so I bend the wire down a bit, about half, um, a third of the way, and then come up to form a loop. And then I make sure that the loop is entirely closed. And that's the eye needle. So I'm going to do that to one end for now and start beading. So the first bead for this pattern is the three millimeter faceted um, garnet. And I mean, these beads are tiny. <laughs> All right, I just have to find the hole and then I can move on. Okay, so I'm using two to start off this strand. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the four millimeter garnet, round garnet. Followed by the ivory luster in the center of the strand. Another four millimeter garnet. And to finish it all up with the three mil the two three millimeter garnet beads. Oh, 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is grab my round nose plier again to create another eye loop. And then I'm going to go back to the other end to close it a bit more to make it more secure. And this is the strand that we have. Okay. And if I want, I can just go ahead back in just to straighten the loop <laughs> like that. And that's what I have. All right. So now what I'm going to do is move on to the wire. So again, this is one full cycle and a third of a uh, memory wire bracelet size. So what I'm going to do is with the same round nose plier, I'm going to create another loop on the end of this memory wire. Okay, this is a temporary loop for now, just so that the beads does not fall off of the bracelet while I'm beading. So I'm going to go ahead now and alternate. Well, before I do that, I wanna start off the beginning pattern, which will be five of the four millimeter or three millimeter spacer beads. So I'm going to put five, two, three, four, five, actually six. <laughs> the pattern is six. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to grab the six millimeter faceted English cut carnelian, followed by the eight millimeter faceted carnelian. Okay, so now I establish the beginning pattern before I start alternating between each bead strand and eight millimeter carnelian. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first of my strand using the same order. Okay. And then I'm going to add the carnelian bead. The next strand. And carnelian. The next strand. And carnelian. Okay, so I'm going to complete this pattern. And once I get to the last strand, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm up to the last strand right here and this is what I have so far so what I'm going to do now is add a carnelian to continue on this pattern and now I'm adding on the last bead strand okay so now I'm going to set this aside so now I'm going to repeat the same pattern that I used in the very beginning so but this time to finish it off I am going to add on the eight millimeter carnelian followed by the six millimeter and then six gold three millimeter spacer beads
Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is grab my round nose plier and I'm going to secure the, the end of the bracelet with another loop. Okay, to keep the beads on the bracelet while we begin working from the bottom. So I'm gonna lay this down like that. And grab the second piece of the wire, memory wire. And I'm going to do the same thing with this memory wire as far as creating a loop. Okay, I'm gonna grab the other end of the memory wire and copy or duplicate the same pattern with the six spacer beads and then the six millimeter carnelian and eight millimeter carnelian. One, two, three, Four, five, six, six millimeter carnelian, eight millimeter carnelian. Set this to the side, bring this back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do Okay, is insert this end of the wire, the open end of the wire, through each bead strand, starting with this bead strand here. And after each, between each bead strand, I will alternate with an eight millimeter carnelian to duplicate the same pattern effect that we have on the top um, memory wire. So I'm inserting through the first strand, then adding on the carnelian. Okay, so I'm going to use my fingers to kind of hold the wire, hold the tail end of the wire um, to keep it from distracting me. <laughs> okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. So after each strand, I'll just add a bead. strand bead and the pattern is so simple this technique and this bracelet is I, I would say is an easy peasy <laughs> bracelet it's not a lot of um, it's not very complex see and this is what we have so far you see when I stand it up this way so I'm going to go ahead and continue through the rest of the patterns alternated by the red carnelian and I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so I'm up to the last two strands and I'm going to keep, use my fingers again to keep the wire, the other end of the wire, okay, out of my way. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm adding on the last strand. Okay, so now I'm going to complete the rest of the top wire with the ending um, pattern, which again will be six three millimeter spacer beads. But before, actually, before I get to that, <laughs> I'm going to add the last eight millimeter carnelian, followed by the last six millimeter carnelian and then a final six of the three millimeter gold spacer beads Okay, so we have our six spacer beads. Okay. So now what I'll do is grab my, hmm, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and grab my round nose plier to close off the end of the bracelet. Just to show you what we have so far before we go to the final part okay, of Okay, so bracelet. now that we have all the beads on this bracelet, now we're going to start trimming down some wire. Okay, so what I would do at this point now is to grab one end of the bracelet and slide all of the beads to the other end. Okay. And then I'm going to look over the bracelet just to make sure that there's no, um, there's minimal gaps in the middle. <laughs> All right. And this is fine. Okay, this is good. So now what I'm going to do is trim off the excess wire that's not needed so that we can go ahead and make our end loops. So I'm gonna do one wire at a time. And I'm going to cut let me hold just one wire. Okay, I'm going to leave maybe about this this much space of wire so that I can form my loop. Cause I really don't want a too much too big of a loop. And be careful when you're cutting, guys, too. Okay, you don't um want to injure yourself or anyone else. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my round nose plier and form a loop upward, a tight loop. Just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side. And then I'm just going to go ahead also and re-loop these right here, these two, on the other end of the bracelet just to have a more uh, un uniform size. 
And then when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how the ends look. All right, so I adjusted all the loops to make it as uniform as I could. This one is slightly bigger, but it's okay. It's definitely okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay. So now the last step is just to grab flat pliers, if need be. Um, I like to use pliers when I'm working with jump rings. And I'm just going to open up the jump ring, separate the clasp, and I'm going to, oh, <laughs> alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to enter this jump ring, right? I'm working with one side of the bracelet first. So my goal is to join these two ends together by inserting the jump ring through both of the holes like that. Okay. And then I'm going to grab the clasp and insert the same jump ring into the end of the clasp, the hole of the clasp. And now I'm going to grab my other plier to close off the jump ring. And these are pretty sturdy jump rings. So that's why I'm only going to use one. But if need be, for more added, added structure or security, you can use two jump rings. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same process on the other end of the bracelet. I'm going to open up the jump ring again and just insert the jump ring through both holes of each memory wire. And then now I'm just going to try to break away from this <laughs> magnet. Uh, the lighting in here uh, is changing. <laughs> it's a bit darker now. Okay, so let me do that once again. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the other magnet, magnetic clasp, and close off the jump ring. And I'm going to try to do it without the magnet getting stuck to the uh, tool, my tool. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious to me. Okay, maybe I should just use my fingers. Okay. So I'm just going to close off the jump ring. Okay. Make sure it's closed all the way. Mm, I have to readjust it. Okay. Much better. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> so we have our completed bracelet, you guys. Okay. So this is what we have, all right, this is what we have, <laughs> this beautiful 
bangle bracelet. Okay. Guys, it was so much fun building this bracelet with y'all. Guys, we done an absolutely beautiful and stunning job. It was so much fun doing this tutorial with you all. If you like what you see and you enjoyed this tutorial, all right, go ahead and hit the like button. Give me that thumbs up, y'all. And comment, share. Let's elevate, 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 y'all, our creative energy together on this channel. I'm so excited about where we're headed. Guys, it was an absolute pleasure, okay? Oh, also be on the lookout for the final tutorial to round out this Bark and Beatbox October Night in the Woods session, okay? We have one more tutorial to upload, which is the beautiful necklace, guys. All right, happy craftings to you all. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Europe get teased, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now tell you don't so leave me be.